And there you see the X Division Champion, Will Ospreay. He's made an open challenge for his X Division Championship, but who's going to answer? Sensational Ricochet here to answer Osprey's challenge. And we've got an X Division title match on our hands here. Well, welcome once again to No Limits Wrestling, but what a way to kick off the show. The debut of Ricochet here in NLW, and he's about to go one-on-one -on -one with Will Ospreay for the X Division Championship. What a way to kick off the evening, but also what a way to close out the evening, because tonight, Pac goes one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Money in the Bank, Jeff Hardy. This following their altercation last week, Pac in his first match in nearly a year, going one-on-one -on -one with the charismatic Enigma who's going to come out on top in our main event tonight and you have to believe as well that Pac is going to be getting a shot at the World Championship if he wins his match against Jeff Hardy tonight. But first of all, Will Ospreay at the start of the program issuing an open challenge for his X Division Championship and look who answers it. It's only bloody Ricochet that's taking out to ringside for that huge matchup. We announced earlier in the week that Ospreay was here to make an open challenge and look who's answered it. It's only Ricochet debuting here but Osprey runs out to Ricochet and look out standing Spanish fly in this X Division Championship matchup Will Osprey running at Ricochet I don't think he realised he may have made a big mistake here it comes 6.30 splash and we have a new X Division Champion and his name is Ricochet. What a way to make a mark here in this company in your first match no less than to answer an open challenge and then defeat one of the best wrestlers in the world, Ricochet. Defeat Will Ospreay here and win the X Division Championship in your first match. Incredible scenes here to kick us off with No Limits Wrestling tonight. A brand new star atop the X Division. And his name is Ricochet. Osprey cannot believe it. But the X Division landscape has changed drastically. Souls are in NLW and we fixing to take over the tag team division. Tell him, us, hey yo, we about to lock down this entire tag team scene. New Day, lock down. Young Bucks, lock down. American Alpha, lock down. Revival, lock down. The Hardys, <laughs> give me a break. What the hell have the Hardys done recently? Jeff Hardy stopped acting stupid, and he's actually Mr. Money in the Bank now. But his tag team partner, Matt, is broken on the sidelines. So that means we can't fight the Hardys. But Jeff, the Usos, are looking to make an impact. If you can find a tag team partner, we want to face you for our debut. But to any other tag team that wants to step up and face us, just know when you got them goosebumps on your arm, and you got a swivel on your head, and you feel it's creeping up behind you. It's not paranoia. 
It's the All Souls. More new talent being initiated here in No Limits Wrestling. The Usos looking for a tag team match against the Hardys. But as you heard, Matt Hardy currently out of an injury. So Jeff Hardy either is going to have to go alone or he's going to have to find a tag team partner. Well, Jeff Hardy can't focus on the Usos right now because he's about to compete in a match against Pac. If Pac wins, he is one step closer to getting the shot at the World Championship that he's craving. But can Jeff Hardy put a stop to that? Let's see what happens in our main event right now. Pac has made clear he wants the NLW World Championship. And with a win here tonight, he's one step closer. But this man already has a guaranteed world title shot. Jeff Hardy is Mr. Money in the Bank after winning the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania. And he can cash in at any time against the world champion Daniel Bryan. However, tonight, he has to go one-on-one -on -one with the Bastard Pack. In fact, it was two weeks ago on episode 71 where Jeff Hardy lost in a match to Daniel Bryan. He shook his hand after, but he stated to Bryan's face he can cash in at any time. And I'm sure that Jeff Hardy takes exception to the fact that Pack believes he should be the number one contender. And now, you hear the music of the bastard who's making his way to the ring here to a chorus of boos. He arrived on episode 71 to attack Daniel Bryan and then last week assaulting the legend Jusin Thunder Liger at which point he came into contact with Jeff Hardy backstage and basically challenged him to a match right there and then and that's why we have our main event tonight Jeff Hardy versus Pac and you see Jeff Hardy staring daggers at the bastard we know what Pac is capable of he is a former X Division champion in this company back then he was known as Neville now he is Pac and he is back in his first match in over a year to go one on one with the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy he starts with a shot to the face and this is a meaner Pack than we've seen in the past folks but runs off the ropes and a big time close I know misses an arm drag and Pack lands on his feet but Jeff Hardy with a missile drop kick Pack flies into the corner but misses the suplex and a tilt well backbreaker to the spine of Jeff Hardy and another standing shooting star press and he may be a miserable man but he's certainly athletic and look out slap in the face of Jeff Hardy and Jeff Hardy isn't going to take that line down spearing down pack and there's that Enzi I think Pack might have been disorientated there the sun's setting but Jeff Hardy goes to run at Pack, and there's a big time clothesline and throwing the bastard back in Jeff Hardy springboard moonsault dropping all of his weight across the chest of Pack. and Hardy gonna run at him goes for a move but hang on a minute Pack catches him oh my god what a power bomb on top of that makeshift ring post of course our arena our start motion is going to return on the next episode but for now we have this makeshift ring which Pack just destroyed Jeff Hardy's spine on with that powerbomb and the cross face sending a message to the world champion Daniel Bryan Now Pack on the top. Comes down with a missile drop kick that turns Jeff Hardy inside out. And places his man on the top rope. What is he going for here? But Jeff Hardy gets out of it with a sunset bomb. Hardy looking to get back into the contest. 
That move definitely took its toll on Pack. But Jeff Hardy tries to get back into this one. And a series of shots. Atomic drop and going to drop the leg across the chest. And there's the big time drop kick from Jeff Hardy. And look out! The front suplex. Pack flying to the outside. And that allows Hardy. He's going to fly. Look out! Tope Carnillo over the top rope. Wiping out Pack. The bastard taken out for now. And now throwing his man back in the ring. And on the top rope, big time. Whisper in for win. Here's the cover and a kick out by Pack. Just in the nick of time. But now Hardy wants to put it away. Twist of fate coming. Goes for it, but Pack pushes him off the ropes in a massive clothesline. Flipping Jeff Hardy. Well, Mr. Money in the bank in serious trouble as Pack stands over him with a big time shot. And now these two warriors battling each other through tooth and nail. They are fighting here. And a, oh, look at that. Well, he's strolled by Hardy. And a pin from Pack. And now the pin from Jeff. These two men trading covers here. And right into the twist of fate. Stunning Pack. Now can Hardy capitalise? Runs at him. But this is the clothesline that snap German. Snap German suplex from Pack. And picks him up for that huge sit out power bomb. And Jeff Hardy may be done for here. He's in a lot of pain, you can see it on his face. And Pack wants to go for the black arrow. Sunset though. He lands on his feet. Another twist of fate to the back of the neck. More like a twist of hate. As Jeff Hardy now. On the top. Looking for the swan top. Oh no. Pack moves out of the way. And now locks in the brutalizer. The brutalizer locked in on Jeff Hardy. And he is wrenching back. And Hardy has to give it up. Hardy giving up. In the brutalizer as Pack secures the victory. And with that, he is one step closer to getting the world championship match against Daniel Bryan that he's been craving. Well, first it was attacking Daniel Bryan, then Jushin Liger last week, and tonight he puts away the charismatic enigma. Well, Hardy put in a hell of a fight. Remember the twist of fate there. We got clotheslined out of his boots. And then finally, when Pack tried to go for the red arrow, there was Hardy to meet him with a twist of hate. But when he went to the top for the swanton, Pack had it scouted very well, catching him out into that brutalizer and wrenching on the neck and arm of Jeff Hardy. And Pack gets the win here over Jeff Hardy. And as you look into the bastard's eyes, you know there's only one thing on his mind right now. And that is getting his shot at the NLW Championship. He looks right into the camera to our world champion, Daniel Bryan, and says, I am next in line. I am going to wrestle you and I am going to take your title. Can Daniel Bryan match the challenge of the bastard?